Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will cover eight different tools of Microsoft Excel, which are very important, and you must know these. So let's start with first one, which is grid lines. As you normally see these lines in Microsoft Excel, which are called grid lines. So in case you want to remove these, you can do it. In order to remove these grid lines, you need to click on view and then from here you need to uncheck this as you can see your grid lines have been removed and this table is looking much better than before now we have our second tool which is finding and removing duplicates as you can see we have this data and uh, we have different type of furniture and the quantity let me show you how to find and remove duplicates now so in order to find your duplicates, you need to select your data, which we have here. So from home, you need to click on conditional formatting, then from highlight sales rules. And then from here, you will find this duplicate values in the bottom and you can press OK. So now you can see these duplicate values as it is showing. And if you want to remove these, you need to select these. And from here, you will click on data and then from here remove duplicates so it has selected both the columns and then ok and then ok so as you can see the table which was with the same quantity has been removed and these are not removed because they have different quantity but in case you just want unique type of furniture then you just need to select this and then from remove duplicates you will click on remove duplicates then you will uncheck this quantity and then ok and ok now you can see you have different type of furniture and duplicates have been removed so third useful tool which you will learn now is hiding or unhiding the columns and rows so as you can see we have this data in case you want to hide your row or column so you just need to select it you can do it from mouse by selecting this column you can hide it by right click and then from bottom you can hide it and you can do the same by selecting a row and then from here you can hide it like this and in order to unhide it you just need to select both the rows and then by right click you will press unhide like this so if I click here and you can do it from your keyboard as well if you press Control O it will hide your selected column as you can see column E is not showing up and if I select this and then I press Control 9 it will hide the row so if you want to unhide these so you need to select these both and then Control Shift and 9 and it's back now but for column you will select these both then Alt O C U now you can see it's back so fourth tool is how to delete an unwanted column or row if you want to delete this whole column then you will select it from here or you can press control space it will be selected then if you want to delete it then control minus and it's removed if you want to undo it you can press control Z and it will be back you can do the same for rows so you just need to select any cell but in order to select a row you will press shift space to select this all you can remove it by pressing ctrl minus or by selecting this row and then from here you will press delete and it will be deleted so fifth tool is check option if you have written all your tasks in excel and you want to check all those which are completed now we will learn how to use check sign in microsoft excel so you need to press shift p and then enter now it, you will select this and from home you will click on this arrow beside this font and you will select these fonts this windings 2 and you can see this check sign now you can do some settings like bold and then from here middle align and then center and then you can drag it or copy from here and paste it here sixth tool which is very useful is borders if you have a table and you want to differentiate it from the grid lines then you can select your sales 
and from here border you can select the type of border you want let's say I will go with thick box border and for these all I will select these and from here I will click on it and then all borders you can also change the shapes by clicking here and then from line color you can select the color line style you can select the style let's say I will go with this and then as you can see this pencil I will click on it and you can see this is style and also here seventh interesting tool for today is merge let's say you have some data and you want to give it a heading and you want to merge some sales like if I write title for this it's a stock report and if I want this to be shown in the middle then I will select these and from here merge and center and now you can see it's in the middle and then I will press ctrl B to bold it and if you want to select four sales you can do it then you need to press this again and from keyboard you can do it by alt H M and C and it's done now you can do some formatting for middle line now increase the size and from here let's say this and font color can be this I think now it's looking good add the amazing tool which is freeze this is also a useful tool which you can use let's say I select this and I am going down by pressing down arrow like this I don't know what this figure is for now I am unable to know the heading of this so you can freeze this if you want to control up and let's say I want to freeze this so I will click here and then from view I will click on freeze pens and you can see these option freeze top row freeze first column or this is a customized option if you will select here it will freeze everything above and on the left but I will go with top row so I will click freeze top row and now you can see this line which is thicker than grid lines and now if I go down by pressing down you can see the top row is freezed now please hit that like button if this video was helpful for you comment down if you have any questions share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe